Welcome everyone. I've just received a two-page letter from Zor Lin, who was framed over the brutal 2014 murders of two British backpackers on Koh Tao. In this video, I will concentrate on his references to the Swiss banker turned whistleblower, Javier Justo, and on the very recent and very tragic death of UK tourist Theo Bailey. At the very end, I will screen the whole letter in both its handwritten form and in a typed format. On the 2nd of May 2024, Zorlin wrote, Deary and Yarwood, how are you today? I hope you are feeling well today. I got your letter dated the 21st of March 2024, and the other one was dated the 2nd of April 2024. It's always great to get some information from you what is happening outside nowadays. It was interesting to learn that the Swiss banker named Javier Justo, who was forced to sign a false confession by Thai police. They threatened to put him in prison for 10 years, but fortunately he was only sentenced to three years in prison and released after 18 months. It was a very sad news to hear that another British man died on Koh Tao in mysterious circumstance on Tuesday the 19th of March 2024. I think it will be better people stop going to that island because deaf people are evidenced and nobody know who killed them. There is not safe for tourists as it's run by mafias and now another family are suffering from heartbroken. I feel sorry for that family. Theo Bailey was a young man who seemed to have everything to live for. Many people never enjoy a 10-year relationship such as the one he shared with Chantal. I have already published YouTube videos about Theo and will include links in the description below. Any discussion of the false confessions extracted from Javier Justo runs the risk of quickly becoming bigger than Ben-Hur. It is way beyond the scope of today's humble video. There is fraud and corruption on steroids involving a company called Petro Saudi, the former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak, and billions of dollars stolen from the sovereign wealth fund known as 1MDB. Even Thailand's chief of police becomes an accessory after the fact for his role in throwing the whistleblower into a Thai prison. Javier was threatened, his wife Laura was threatened, and there was a threat that their infant son would be thrown into a Thai orphanage. The corrupt Royal Thai Police had little trouble extracting a false confession from the highly educated Swiss banker, just as they had little trouble extracting false confessions of murder from the hapless Burmese migrant workers Zor Lin and Wai Pyo. Oddly enough, during his 12-month tenure of police chief, Somyot Pumpanwang received 300 million baht or 9.5 million US dollars in secret payments from Victoria's Secret, the biggest brothel in Bangkok and a conduit for money laundering. Now I don't know the ultimate source of the 300 million baht because to the best of my knowledge, Somyot never properly accounted for it. It was reported that Somyot received a series of payments over that 12-month period, so there was a possibility that there was more than one source, such as the Tewuchian family of Koh Tao and or parties involved in the 1MDB fraud and or persons related to the Red Bull heir. To follow is the rest of the letter, which you can pause or fast forward to read at your own speed. Thanks very much for watching.